Hello YouTube, this is Sibbles and Bits back at it again with another Inkbound Daily. Today is the solo daily for October 19th, and today we will be playing Weaver, going from Proving Grounds into Garden's Edge, and then up against Argoloth. So, we need to remember that we need to visit a carver at some point in the game. Probably during Book 2 is uh, when we usually do it. And, I don't know, it's good to be a class that has like a truck ton of damage for once. The most damage in the game, in fact. Uh, Wolo's Blood Letter just allows us to easily solve the first boss, which is Giannis. Uh, healing Pools, again, literally does nothing. Uh, last two waves of all combat spawn at once. Basically, just it's honestly a little bit easier for us. Uh, depends on if we decide to go wide or use Constrict or not. Because if we go wide, we can push for Controlled Weaving on turn 2. We have more enemies threaded, so then Stitch does more damage. Otherwise, generally speaking, um, I don't know, you usually want to have things contained by then. But if we don't have it contained, then we get an extra turn. It really depends on what all is uh, going on. And what our bindings are, stuff like that, what this augment is. Skills of infinite potential. It's, it's six stats. I'll take it. Here we have Rosy Thorn on your turn gain two stacks of spiked. That's interesting, honestly. Looking into Argoloth, obviously we like the idea of having spiked. We want to take some damage due to Wolos. Um, there's going to be a lot of enemies. I just don't know if two spiked is like worth it. Hmm. What do we got here? Why didn't Stitch? I mean... Okay, game. I think I can get around to that. Uh, Thickened Threads is also pretty good, but I'm fine with taking White and Stitch here. Again, if lots of enemies are going to spawn uh, a turn early, then pushing for Controlled Weaving and then just Stitching everything is a good way to solve a lot of problems. What do we have? Rosy Thorn is tempting, but I don't... Like, it's tempting as an idea. Again, if they're giving me spikes here and we're going up against Argoloth, I immediately think, what if the run quest is needles? Because very often... This isn't necessarily the case, but it seems like... This opening draft here sort of like sets the rest of the run. I think we might reroll here though. Moss Spyglass, actually very good versus uh, Giannis. Especially in combination with Constrict. Could definitely see that working out. Uh, Burnicle Gauntlets. Debatable. Like, that does much more damage than um, the gain two spikes a turn. And, obviously, we still have to get hit. But this is dealing, like, 55 damage to people who attack us. Whereas the two spikes per turn would only deal, like, 20. And then eventually get up to 30. Eh... I definitely rank Burnital Gauntlets better in that regard. The only thing is, is again, if we end up getting into like more spikes, then suddenly it doesn't feel so good. I think we can take this Moss Spyglass and deal with that. It's not really going to help us much for our Fight 1 here. We're kind of hoping that our Fight 1 kind of solves itself. I would really love to see... That's a Barrier Potion. It's not Mercurial at all. If we're going to the Carver, do we honestly want to go to a Quillen Cage? Again, that's usually the case. We want to go to a Quillen Cage. The argument is more so, do we actually want a White Vestige? But we look at all the White Vestiges that are available to us, and I'm not entirely sure that I do. There's some obvious good hits. Obviously, Cultivated Harmonies will carry that till the end of the game. Um, hmm. 
We'll take the money. We're going to a carver an extra time. We'll probably buy up before Giannis. Try and get a build through there. Spend our 150 in that location. Uh, we are not going to get this in one turn. That is some nice gunk for me, though. Let's see. Thread Constrict. Constrict. We will go for Controlled Weaving here. They're spread out to the point to where it doesn't really do much of anything. I think I was supposed to Constrict before I did that. I think that's going to be kind of a blunder. I want to take as much damage as possible, though. This is a good way to do that. Yeah, I think I really goofed that up. I also wanted to take some gunk damage here. This should be fine, though. Especially after we take uh, a ton of damage. We now have... Um, we... <sighs> okay. It's our F8 of the day. Okay, now we're in trouble. I was kind of relying on that damage. Just kind of, right? pick this up. These guys are actually close together now, so we can go ahead and hit that. We're not in trouble. I was being dramatic. Definitely wasn't happy about it. Hopefully our Wolos isn't bugged. That would be terrible. They're giving us spike damage. That's a little feels bad, man. We'll go ahead. We'll take some critical chance here. Of these options, honestly, I'm thinking I almost want Thicken Threads. Potent Stitch is only plus 30 damage after the equation. It's one of the only plus uh, damage augs that like work correctly when you have two actual values. Um, Maybe we were supposed to uh, look at our binding first and get a white from them. But Thicken Threads is fine. There's an unstable brew. Why are you rounded up like that? That's so weird. Anyways, however you want to go about that. So, um, if we're going into crit after image wouldn't be too bad. Cultivate isn't too bad on this build, honestly. Hmm. Cleave is terrible. I'm almost willing to re-roll here. I'd be willing to deal with after image, especially because it solves Giannis. Uh, after image into a constrict when we've got my spyglass on Giannis 2 is an amount of damage. I'm not going to say it's a ludicrous amount of damage, but it's as about as much damage as we would be performing otherwise. If that makes any sense. Apologies if it doesn't. Um, green, green Augs, we have critical threads. We've got crit on constrict. We've got after image cooldown. I kind of like both of those. Is that better than more stats? I'm going to say yes. We are going to go for that.
there's critical threads oh, or accurate Im oh, come on man come the frick on man sewing stitch also technically saves us a will in some occasions I think that it's critical threads though especially with the modifiers that we have in play how we're planning on playing it's probably this guy right here that is an interesting up tier uh, remember that if you chose a different binding this is going to be a blue for one of those bindings so what was it cultivate i'm not sure if they follow like they probably do it follows like say blue a or blue b i haven't gone through all the trouble of figuring that out <laughs> that would require me to map the heck out of a daily and uh, I honestly don't have time for that. Kudos to those that do, though. Okay. Gotta hit that. Hit that again. And then all we need is five, actually, for control leaving. So we can go ahead and do something like this. And then hit all of these people. Kind of like this. We're going to take less damage, though. And we are finally getting our Wolos. Is this actually start a combat this whole time and I've just never known? I don't think that's the case. If so, that needs a rewording. I thought that that was more dynamic. This looks pretty scuffed. I really wish I could see what this AoE was. I believe if I thread all you guys, I can get you guys. This honestly might be an unstable brew. I kind of wanted this to push Giannis. Also remember, we've got two turns to handle this. These guys are going to stand in place though. So, if anything, we really want to make sure that we're getting these guys who are spinning currently. I think it might be... Here. You're already threaded. Already critting, that's good. That actually doesn't reach, that's terrible. The worst? Well, then I'm going to say screw you, buddy. You're going with them. I think that's close enough. i got to figure out how I'm going to take care of you, though. I think I wanted to thread you ahead of time. Honestly, we might just destroy you. There's another crit. Oh my good lord. It does damage. Always has been. Alright. Boiling Muck seems phenomenal. I also like Twin Fangs because it's also sort of going into the do more crits. But um, it obviously does not work well with After Image because we gain critical charges every time we do that and then we lose our bonus. I would just rather have a 5% flat bonus and then get CDR for it. Because that means that we get to use After Image more often. Sounds kind of nice. Give me more physical power, why not? Quickened image is likely going to hit itself. I think that's fine. Sewing stitch, though. I think just due to utility alone, we want to take this. Otherwise, getting negative one uh, base cooldown on after image is pretty good. One will reserve till the end of combat. I'm going to eat that.
I will take a disintegrate. We're gonna basically just try to one-shot freaking Giannis. Uh, that's not Invig though. I do kind of like Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt's an interesting setup. Lightning Bolt something, then we can either constrict or we can use um, Stitch on it with a lot of threaded enemies. Share that damage along everybody. It's like a better constrict. There's no such thing. You can't tell me that. Um, Incendiary is also pretty good. Uh, get some burn damage out there. If we would have had burn a toll, then we could have also like fueled into that. Um, I think we're fine with T-Bolt. T-Bolt's looking pretty good. It also has a uh, crit aug and crit ascension. So, I'm not liking it. Unstable effigy. It's not bad. Quill Charm. I'll be honest, Quill Charm isn't bad either. I don't think we want Health Stimulant. If we had something like Death Scythe, Health Stimulant would be pretty good. Let's see. We haven't spent any money. No, wait. We rerolled the. We rerolled the first vestige for 25. So we can safely spend 150 plus 80. Let's just say 200. So I can green reroll green. I could probably even green reroll blue. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I like the crit chance on Amulet of Floral, like, more than anything. It'd be really good if we got... I forget what it is. When you crit, gain one stack of evasion. Moss Mother's Embrace. Golden Egg is also pretty good. Honestly, if we buy Golden Egg, does it make back the 70? How often are we honestly going to get hit as Weaver, though? That's a big question. I suppose it doesn't matter because we can get hit a lot during uh, Argoloth. We will get hit occasionally. Hmm. We don't really plan to get hit after Giannis, though. We want to get the damage from getting hit by Giannis and then like steer clear for the rest of the game. That's rough. This is a gamble, though, because we spent 270 total here. 270 when we could afford to spend like 200. Oh, like we could safely grab this. I just don't know how often it's going to go out. I'm not going to buy anything here. I really wish I had that amulet of floral, though. Ah. All right. We're not setting up for the kill yet. I don't know. I kind of have, like, too much will. But I don't think that that's the best move, because now he does more damage. I also didn't position myself at all here. Oh, no, it worked. Okay. We also got a crit. Sounds good. Unstable brew. Disintegrate. Phase. And because we have Boiling Muck, that's, um, we get to play again. Leave that for next turn. Let's go ahead. Hit that. Why must you do this to me?
Okay, this is honestly looking pretty good. That is unfortunate. This is no longer looking good. There we go. I think that was in four turns? I would kind of love Entwine to double our base damage. Only thing I'm looking at there is that... Strangulate is better if we're going wide, which we currently kind of plan on doing, especially versus Argoloth. Going single target on Ar Argoloth tentacles doesn't seem good at all. So I'm kind of inclined to go Strangulate. Yeah, we don't lose too much damage. We might as well. It's just that this is like disgusting damage. <laughs> and it's... um like pretty freaking good for people like Nim. You know what? Yeah, we'll we'll take this. We do need to solve Nim. Grant an additional stock shock is stacked. It's pretty good. I also like cross stitch because that actually solves our AoE issues that we were um kind of alluding to, but then again we also got shock plus AoE. Oh I don't freaking know anymore man. We don't want to heal. Um, we're already getting free physical power due to our trinket because there's no way in hell that we're using more physical bindings than, uh, than other bindings. So we'll go ahead and grab this crit chance. They did give us a lot of spikes, by the way. I think it was a total of, like, what, 14? You guys count down in the YouTube comments. Heroic Vault seems fine. That's a fish. A fish. A fishy. air. I don't like this guy over here. I think what this is... Is one of these? Then one of these. I'm feeling inclined... To Gamba. We lost. Hmm tell you what though that reduces our cooldowns by a bit there we go also by the way mr. healer healing is against the rules Healing's cool when I do it, not when you do it. There we go. Okay, Pendant of the Weaver seems like pretty good. <laughs> as much as I would love to take Thunderstruck Bell, Pendant of the Weaver is probably what we need to take less damage from other sources. Oh, also gives us some bonus health. We don't have to sacrifice one of these in order to heal. Do we need movement for Argoloth? We really should grab a source of movement. But versus critical damage? I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll take critical damage. We could be unkillable. We really haven't done anything to Entwine, right? Like, we'd almost might as well. Otherwise, Sturdy Threads is another good one. We're going to have lots of tentacles um, threaded, theoretically speaking. This is at least two shielding if we hit Argoloth, which we should be. 
Evasive Image is pretty good versus Argoloth, but I don't think that getting plinked by a bunch of little guys is that scary to us. Famous last words. I think Defensive Constrict is where this is at. I could also see rerolling this. The other blue is prepared. We can't get it prepared there. We can get it prepared here and I believe a crit? Crit here for blue and plus one shock stack? No wait, that was a purple. What's the other blue? Anyways. Yeah, we'll just take a... Uh, defensive Constrict. Pretty much means that we almost can't die. Just not sure that that's worth uh, re-rolling. Okay, Chain Lightning. Um, I'll tell you what. Lightning Storm seems pretty bad. Chain Lightning's not that much better. Hmm... Because Lightning Storm could just drop the shock on a place where I don't want it to be. It could be on the right person. Uh, it's still pretty good. I don't know. I don't know, man. Can't really afford to re-roll it. So I guess I'll take Lightning Storm. Give me more money, please. I have overspent. Damage to dazed, critting inflict days. I'll take the crit, thank you. She has nothing to say to me. And we need to remember, we go to the carver after this. No matter what shows up. Actually, is this just better? Might as well re-roll that. All the enemies are coming in this turn. You actually lined up pretty well. That's not the crit I was looking for. Or the droids for that matter. That's pretty good. Okay. And then we finish you this turn. With a Constrict. Goodbye. Now we have Sovereign's Flag. Hmm. Hmm. That's tempting. That's a damage multiplier. We don't actually have one of those right now. Our damage multiplier is crit, which is still a little bit spotty. Uh, we technically have one on my spyglass, but that's a little, uh, little iffy. I'd be willing to take a Sovereign's Flag. In fact, I'd be willing to take 20 of them, if you're willing. Okay, so this is the thing. We need to start acting as if we're not going to have Wolos because we're going to get rid of it at the end. So we need more damage. That's ability power. Um, 
Hmm. Hexing Threat and High Voltage both seem pretty freaking good right now. Yeah, now that I think about it, I think our Argoloth is going to be a bit rocky because of the fact that we haven't gotten any actual damage for our Stitch and Stutch. We have to go to Carvus Refuge. I thought about stats for just a moment. Another quill charm. <laughs> I don't think this is any of these. We could technically buy a quill charm and be fine. However, comma. Uh, no. I would much rather reroll the final shop or something like that in order to get our final uh, thing that's going to replace Wolos. And then hope that it's something good. Famous last words. This shouldn't be an issue, but we're eating a tuna anyways. The big katuna. I need to get past you, my dude. You are large. I mean, if this is free, I'm going to use it. Might as well not use that, actually. You're not lighting up, but yet you are taking damage. I'm going to trust the game, which is sometimes dangerous. Now you are alone, so we will hit you with the constricts. And then spam these. That gives us controlled weaving. Then I should honestly just be able to... There we go. There we go. Leave that for next turn. We're going to need it. Oh, you're marked. You're sitting in a pretty rad spot, my dude. What do you guys think about that? I think it's pretty nice. This automatically threads enemies. Yes, this is exactly what we want. This will save us a lot of will. I'm so glad we found that. Constrained Constriction seems pretty freaking good. Discounted Lightning when we are reducing cooldowns. Pretty good. Being able to use this for free every turn doesn't impact us. We're able to get rid of that after image is going to hit whatever we want at that point. Unless, of course, it hits threat. Spawn thread's also pretty good. Just to make sure that we get controlled weaving, it's also just free damage. Constraint constriction is probably the worst one here because of the fact that we took entwine. This isn't really going to increase our damage by that much. Like, obviously, this is not going into this yet. But um, after they buffed Constrict, honestly, Constraint Constriction has been pretty shit. Like, this is a 50% damage increase, which is equivalent to a blue? No, that's a green. So, um... <laughs> but obviously, at that point, damage is damage. If you're looking at single targets, so I guess it's okay. But, um, like I said, this isn't going to move that needle very much if we took strangulate this would have been pretty huge anyways it's either spun threads or discounted lighting i think they're both pretty good i just think that we're going to get more use out of spun threads than discounted lightning basically discounted lightning get is uh spun threads every now i'm making it sound worse <laughs> oh no um screw it we'll take spun threads we didn't get a uh, Threat Ascension, so we probably are actually going to end up needing the help in threading things. Oi! Um, we got decent crit. Let's go ahead and grab some crit damage, I think. Like, that's our primary multiplier right now. Oh, the box. This is... this should be easy. And you guys were worried.
This is going to be a lot of enemies, though. Oh, we're fine. Because doesn't... I guess I could actually just... Uh, spun threads, you guys. For some reason, I thought that that was Ink Rita this whole time. I'm a fool. Go ahead, hit you guys. Take this cooldown. Then hit you guys with that, you're done. Oh, good thing I didn't end turn. That would have been embarrassing. On gaining crit, gain two shattered will. That's pretty good. If we did have Ink Rito, Paradigm Shift would be insane. But we don't have Ink Rito right now. Pile of Tiles is decent, especially since all of our damage is apparently in physical right now. Um, Shaheen's could be good. Um, Yos. We have a ton of HP. Inflict an additional stack of shock on Lightning Storm is just plus one shock on a random enemy. It's not really good. Constricting Knots makes this more usable during Argoloth. Discounted Image makes this free, which is a thing. I don't know, something. Um, We'll take Constricting. I'm debating if this needs to be rerolled. I don't feel like we have the cooldowns for Paradigm Shift, but that might be a, a misplay. Shaheen's also doesn't... Like, we've got some decent crit. We will get Will out of this, but it's going to be us using Thread again. Which, when we already get two free uses of Thread, who cares? If we add something like Volcus's Bond Enhancer, maybe, and we could save Leftover Will, maybe. We're going to reroll here. We can reroll once bone dog huh it's the weirdest way for us to get damage with entwine constricting knots defensive constrict Another Wolos. If all enemies are threaded, you gain one will each turn and ten ability power. That is absolutely ass, but it might be the correct play. <laughs> we don't need Pendant of the Weaver anymore because we hope to never go below half health. That was the best option in my opinion. Like I could definitely see Tatra Twin, especially with some shock shenanigans that could actually like go pretty hard. I just don't want to leave myself to RNG like that. Um, window to Eternal Longing here is way too late. So we're going to try and scale Bone Dog. Thread everything. So we actually probably want to be about right here. And just try and keep a handle on absolutely everything. Which is going to be hard on Argoloth. I actually don't know if this is possible on Argoloth. Do we gain the 10 ability power immediately, or is this technically on turn start? I guess we're about to find out. And if not, if it's turn start, we just made the biggest frickin' mistake. <laughs> Alright. Gimme, give gimme give this. Gimme this. Um, it's immediately. Okay. Let's do one of these first. Then one of these. And then one of these. You have a use one of these? I think that's a bit of overkill. And if we're taking no damage, we kind of want to get hit. Because that activates Bone Dog. Um, there's literally nothing else that I need to do here. I, I could tickle Argalon. Show him what Constrict really is. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about our choice. We're going to be leaving, so we might as well pick up this orb. 
love to see that crit. I love that for us. We want to use as little movement as possible to get the two of you. And then we want to get... Oh, no. Oh! The triangles. How do they work? Don't do this to me. I saw that. You can't lie to me. Magic Pixel existed. Oh! God damn it. Ugh! The triangles! That's a lot of damage. It's not even hitting this guy up here. That's exactly what we want to do right there. Right there. And then I honestly would love to phase you by frickin' don't make me cast it damn you <sighs> okay you have been shot can I get a thank you Oh my good lord, we almost beat him. And we didn't run out of tentacles during Argoloth. Look at that. Huh. Anyways. Pretty much as far as I'm concerned, a perfect run. I don't know how we would have gotten uh, fight one. Trying to look at what we were offered again. Our, what we chose didn't really help at all because we chose increased aoe it wasn't really relevant like the enemy even with increased aoe on a uh, stitch they still weren't in range simply because of how the enemies uh, set themselves up they had a lot of health um i suppose if we if we actually use constrict correctly I still don't think that we would have done enough damage to take out the the figment, let alone the other two guys. Yeah, I don't know. If you guys got turn one, be sure to leave that down in the comments below. Because it was the only thing that kept us from getting a uh, perfect run there. Anyways, hopefully the run was uh, entertaining or at least educational. If you have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, comments, concerns, misplay alerts, be sure to put it down in the comments below. And until next time, we will catch you guys around.